Welcome back to part 28 of Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, my Elgato was working perfectly. This time, you know okay, how it goes. Let's go. You know how it goes. So I plug it in. Let me tell you how it works. So this laptop has three USB plugs. Uh, one USB 3.0, which is that even like the current standard anymore? I want to say, isn't this like 3.14? No, I don't know. But uh, uh, yeah, so one USB 3.0, that goes to my hard drive. Um, Talk so oh, I love this part, but then two other regular, I guess, 2.0 ports. And so, the first one, the one that's closest to me, always gets the Elgato. The one that's furthest, farthest from me, farther measures distance, further does not. Uh, the one that's farthest from me, I oh, can't go that can't go that way. Which, let me just point out on the map, it, seems it gives it you an open. X. Some the locked so doors big. are actually different than those doors, where I guess those doors are one way the ones with the X, where it's the lock doors that give you the lock signal. Um, uh, anyway, the, the the port that's furthest from me, farthest from me, usually gets the microphone. Yeah, I don't know. Those doors are exactly the same. I don't really get that. Um, and so, it just so happens I had to switch to USB ports. Uh, it's happened before where I used the other port. It doesn't actually record very well. I don't know what's going on with this crap. It's awful. Hmm. Uh, we're about to do some more Super Mario 64. What other games have you gone and painted? That's definitely a thing. That's definitely a thing. Um, I can feel it. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't tell you like what else is you can do. Oh, there's a Focus. super strong guy. Hmm. I mean, we're gonna come down there anyway, so I won't fight him. All right, so we're going to the Arabian Sands. never been to a desert but I think I don't know I'd, I'd kind of be scared because on like the one hand whereas if you go like a forest like a jungle or something you know you could get like torn limb from limb by like a bear or a freaking you know rabid monkey you know I don't really know what kind of I mean are there like wolves in deserts like you know they have like those desert wolves they're like specifically not uh, regular foresty wolves, but they're like the other kind of wolves. You know what I'm talking about. Aren't they like those types of wolves and like other vicious animals and like scorpions and junk? What? Yeah, so, uh, ooh, can you ride the cave? You can't ride the cave. You can't go that way. Alright, so, let's see here. You wanna go through here and you wanna go through the Tori, I believe it's called. It's a gate. Um, hard work is not what makes a sapling grow thick with green leaves. Too many young people do not see the value in youth these days. So what fools. I'm trying to see if this actually gives a uh, hint of what you're supposed to do. Can we actually hop out of it? Yeah, hop. Wait. Where was, the, where was the prompt? There's the prompt. Alright. Press the button because you always gotta press these buttons. You never know, but you just gotta press the buttons. And there you go. So that brings that painting up. Whoa! Oh, it's a pollen warning. I just realized that too. Um, that does something where I think it. So in mementos, the shadows are more likely to be sleeping if there's a pollen warning. Um, don't go that way. I think you want to go. Can you go with that? There we go. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Um, what? That's not the right way? Alright, whatever. Uh, but yeah, Pollen Warning, I think sometimes the shadows are, or the shadows are more likely to be sleeping. Oh, it changes. See, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Um, shadows are more likely to be sleeping. Which, you know, you can sneak up on them, get those uh, first strikes. So that's always nice. I don't think that applies to story palaces, though. Do I want to jump down? There we go. And one more painting. Okay. Oh. And can we hop back in here? Oh, uh, can't get back in. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let's uh, jump back down and one more time. All right, let's see if I can get this on first go. Uh, straight through. Did they change it back? Did they change it back? They did change it back. All right, now you go to the tippy tippy. 
and I think you just go left to right on this. I'm assuming this is like one of those Japanese, you know, like those huge mansions. Maybe they're ateliers, uh, but they have like the tatami mat floors and they have like those huge sprawling gardens. Like I'm assuming that's what this is because it looks kind of like you're looking out of a window. window. Um, okay, do I come? Do I do it? Here we go. I'm trying to. You can only jump out, obviously, where there are, you know, spots um, or rafters for you to jump on, but it's kind of hard to see when you can't see them. Anyway. Um, oh, that's weird. Okay. Head on through. And, oh, this is the. Yeah, it's basically the end of the painting jumping sequence. At this point, I want to say it's just like a regular dungeon, honestly. It's somewhere. Look, a treasure chest. Why don't we crack it open? Ambush you. I'll and... reveal your true form. Rush, I think. Let's say how many times you can do that all the time before. Um, I'm gonna go so I have 13. Oops. One, two, three, four. Looking cool, Joker. And can you get some zeal? Oh, no zeal. Okay. Some other well, way. I'll just take you out. Oh, I don't even have zeal on anybody all else. Right. Alright, let's just rush. The yeah, other news, I'm trying to think, what else is. Oh, uh. All out of well, What else is new? Today is the day before Thanksgiving, November 21st. I finally had a bunch of time to explore some stuff. That's kind of cool. I'm hyped. I have like a bunch of days off. I mean, everybody does, but I, I, I in particular have a bunch of days off. It's hype. I'm hype. We're hype. The one thing that makes this worse, though, honestly. Is that so? It's November twenty first, okay. and Super Smash Bros. is not out yet. You know that just comes slide. out. Oh, I thought that was a, a chest with a key. Uh, Super Smash Bros. come out comes out like a little under three weeks. Wait a second, can we? All right, whatever. Just just do that. Um, December seventh, and I here's let me tell you the problem I'm having. I have not pre-ordered the game. Exactly. Oh yeah, it does all things. Um, I have not pre-ordered the game. I know that I want the game. I'm excited. I'm not going to play it with a competitive mindset per se. Uh, but I do want to play the game. I want to see you know, what it's all about. It'll definitely be something that I try. You know, I'm gonna unlock everything and do that whole thing. It's, it's great. The problem is I can't decide how I want to buy it. You know, on the one hand, you have the physical release, which physical releases. For the Switch in particular, aren't that useful. You know, I love having them for PS3 or PS4, or PS3 home consoles. Uh, they're great because I like seeing my boxes stack up, and I like seeing, you know, the different artwork and things like that. Sometimes they come with re reversible covers. Okay. All great, all good things. Um, but on the other hand, it's a Switch and it's portable, and I don't really want to have to keep bringing cases. And I actually have this case that uh, it's like Legend of Zelda theme. I think it's an official Nintendo case, which is why it's so good uh, but it has like what two little cartridge holders that can hold eight cartridges total for four each and uh, you know I like I like that but I'm starting to run out of cartridge space so I've started to you know purchase uh, digital games you know let's go Pikachu I got that on digital I don't know if I mentioned that yet but uh you know I bought that digitally and like Mario Odyssey bought that digitally uh, part of that was because I couldn't wait to play it uh, so I'm, I'm leaning towards digital, but I really would like to be able to you know, admire all five cases uh, for Super Smash Brothers, the, or the Super Smash Brothers series that I have. Uh, granted, I don't think I have the original N64 case. I have the cartridge, but the case, you know, that's the thing about N64 games. They were cardboard boxes. Like, they were legit cardboard boxes with very intricate art, but they were cardboard boxes on the left. Oh, you weren't there a minute ago. I have something. Um, and Show so you end up, form. At, at least for in my experience, the same thing I think. Well, so let me stop. A SNES cartridges or SNES boxes were also that they were boxes. Um, but yeah, those systems in particular, because like Genesis games, they were like these plastic black cases that were kind of sturdy. Um, but yeah, the. the, the Cardboard boxes, they just did not last. There were so many times where, like, I would, if you spill something on it or you, know, you put it in storage and it's, it's something drips on it or any number of things, and then it's just destroyed. And it doesn't keep its shape very well, so it's always flattened. You can't really put a disc or a game back in it. Um, 
So yeah, I don't have the original Smash Brothers box, but it would be nice to kind of have all the physical versions. But honestly, outside of taking a picture of all five, what's the point? So I, yeah, I'll probably get this. Right. Um, I can feel it. I will say I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but I don't. Oh, there's a we have trick. Um, I don't have the 3DS version. Uh, I had it and I destroyed it out of in a fit of rage to make sure that I never played that game again. So that's uh. Well, that's something. Uh, one more. Here. Oh, these guys. Okay. Let's. Oh, don't, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush, don't rush. I want to bargain because I should take out. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to think now what my favorite type of video game case would be. You know, I like. I mean, okay. So. P. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay then. Um, Mirror still doesn't work. That's good to know. Uh, let's go into the man's oh, lifestone. Okay. Uh, here we go. Here's the treasure chest. Oh, that's cool. They put the treasure in the women's before, and now it's the man's. Got a straw doll for our troubles. But yeah, I, I used to. I thought it was kind of weird actually when I got a PS3, because Xbox or PS2. Oh god, that audio sounds so crappy. Like the bass sounds like it's blown out. Oh my god, I hate this part. I hate this part. It's not actually not that bad, but I kind of hate this part. Um, at least the first time I played it, it's really annoying because I had no idea that I was supposed to pay attention to a thing that I was supposed to pay attention to. I have something. Um, but yeah, I was so kind of off-put when, I can feel I it. That way, I when they switched the PS3 cases somewhere. to be smaller than the PS2 ones. It was just kind of weird, you know? Focus. Like you're expecting one thing, you something. get a whole nother. Alrighty. Turn around and climb that and ambush I'll him. Reveal your true form. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do over this long week. I know. Oh, oh no, no, Tengu. Kopa Tengu. Uh, is he weak to. He's weak to something. Light? Why did I think he was light? Oh, ice, cool. Let's we'll just do Blue Fu on everybody. And thou art I? Uh, what was I? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I know it's supposed to be pretty cold this year. Uh, they were calling for one of the coldest, what you talking, Thanksgiving Day parades in history. And I've been to one when I was younger. It was, it was hella cold. Not gonna lie about that. Uh, it was so bad we had to stand in a bank. Like, they had this bank that wasn't even like a real bank. It was just a, uh, it was basically like a, in, like a, I don't know what the square footage would be. <laughs> but it was basically like a thing where, it was uh, I have something. a series of ATMs that you could stand and like use. There weren't any tellers or any spaces for tellers, Whoa. but you could, you know, it could hold. If it was like an emergency situation, it could probably hold like a hundred, two hundred people. And believe me, there were that many people packed in there uh, in order to see the parade without being cold. And honestly, it was still cold because they're not turning the heat on. Hmm. Alrighty, so this is the gimmick here. Hey, not the gimmick, this. the gameplay, the puzzle. So the idea is you have to guess the correct painting. Here it's pretty easy because, you know, uh, one's red, one's blue. We know that she wasn't wearing no blue. But I actually want to get this item here. And I think you have to do this. Hey. Oh, wait, what? No, this is... Yeah, okay, good. I. That's what... Okay, so that was going to happen regardless of what pain you hit. Um, and I think you have to do this because it will tell you which door. It, like, activates these doors. I don't think that you can just go through the doors. Uh, but maybe you can. I don't I don't really know. I haven't really tried. Okie dokie. Yes. Seeing past the false image. Reached out to the truth, if you will. It's golden. Wait, wait, oh, I can't log, go through the log. He just, that's definitely an intentional hey. reference to uh, Persona 4. Not that he even said reach out to the truth, but he said truth. And that's pretty much the theme of Persona 4. So, all right, this one's kind of difficult. Uh, oh, wait, I saw a little glimmer. Focus. Was that? Huh, I think it's the third one, honestly. Because you can tell the other three don't have branches, and so it says branches. It's also isolated in a way that the others kind of aren't. Oh, wow. Monoda. 
Uh, let's see. Is that right? Yes, it was right. Look at me. I don't know why I thought this was so difficult before. It's not even like there's that many details in the painting that would be able to screw you up. Like, Alright, so it's none of those because the two reds are missing the trees. And that's how, let me tell you, that's how they get you. Because you think, oh, that's all you got. And you click it and you get it wrong. You think, oh, this must be all you got. No, keep running. Keep running, sucker. Here we go. It's this one because her ponytail is not leaning over her thing. Hey. Well. Okie dokie then. Uh, can I go in here? Here we go. Yeah, alright. So this sounds like something else I've heard, the music. Whoa. It just sounds like something familiar, but also really eerie. Kind of like maybe a Metroid song, honestly. You know how Metroid always has that atmospheric music, but not exactly rhythmic or melodic music? It's, uh, that's a whole thing. Is this a treasure chest? Okay, good. I, um, it's a treasure chest. I didn't know if it was the kind with the key or not. Um, oh, wow, our mini-map went away. Wait. Wait a second. I'm just trying to see. Oh, there's... That's interesting. Focus. There's no mini-map. I never noticed Focus. that. I don't know where it goes. I don't know where it left to, but... Uh, see it. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, we found the treasure! Can't go that way, so we have to go around. But, uh, 17 minutes? Oh, we're just gonna finish this. Oh, what? Sucker, 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 sucker. I'm trying to. You can't go straight. You can't go straight. Oh, you have to go straight. Okay. Uh, cause I'm. Okay. See, they have you running straight up to the thing. I mean, that's how the last two were. Are you, like, stupid boy? There it I've is. only done one other dungeon. Doesn't it Dang. Look a bit hazy? We've only done another, one other dungeon. Holy Once crap! I don't know why I felt like we did multiple. It'll, it'll materialize like yoohoo! I wonder what form it will take. Who knows? That is something like a self-portrait. The source of what distorted Madarame's reality this much. That's a great word. I mean, it's not really like that complex of a word, but it's not a word that you see too much. You always see it used with like bugs and stuff, you know, a swarm of bees. But you don't really see it used too many other places. Alright, now let me go back here and unlock this save room. The cognit Okie dokie. And turn back around and we're heading out. No time for saving. I'm gonna try to finish off this part of the dungeon uh, right away. Can we even get in here? Oh, we can. Cool. I have to turn off the lasers. Alright, here we go. Check the control terminal. Do we need a password? Wait, we don't need a password. Um, Alright, turn off ladies. You have to show this anyway, so I may as well. Yeah. No, you don't You just try the other shut down the main power. This is actually kind of interesting because you can try different stuff. So, like, the power shuts off, but then. Hey! Like, okay, this is just kind of. I, I get it, it's a palace and it's like inside his mind, but honestly. Why would you have like a, a shut off? Like, why would you have a backup generator? It's your own palace. You can imagine that the lights would never. Like, why is this a thing? Like, I like it, but it's also kind of weird because why would you have an elaborate setup such that you have backup generators in an imaginary mm. palace that you don't even know exists? It's kind of weird, but gameplay sake, it makes a lot of sense. Okie dokie. So. Oh, we get to battle. Yeah. Alright, so now oh, this is like Inugami's cousin or something. I don't even know. 
What is this guy called? Do I have this guy? I don't think I have this guy. Um, Hunting Wolf Spirit. The Wolf of Wall Street. If you will. Um, Double Fangs. Oh, it's like a double kick from Pokemon. Yo, shout out to Pokemon. I gotta say, so I had actually considered doing a full on. Like, what I had actually, actually, actually considered was switching my Pokemon Fire Red Let's Play to straight up uh, Pokemon What You Talk and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Because that's the one I got. And I had honestly thought, like, yo, I'm gonna just take it and run with that mess. Because it's like the same game, basically. And you see one, you see them all. And honestly, if I'm gonna play one, I'll probably play the new one. Because I've played that one before. But then I realized that if I were to dock the game, I'd have to play with the Pokeball. Not the Pokeball, I did not get that $50 piece of. Anyway, um. But I would have to play with the Joy Con. And the Joy Con's fine. But, okay, so I'm right handed. If the joystick was up top on the, the Pokeball Plus, that would not be a problem. But it's kind of uncomfortable to hold the joystick. Uh, control with my thumb, my right thumb, because the joystick on the right Joy-Con is lower than, you know, the one on the left. So then I thought, oh, I can play with the left, but honestly, it's just the left one, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm not a big fan of, like, eating while I play video games or anything like that. Uh, it's just, it's just hard. Now, I do it, don't get me wrong, uh, but it's just hard. It's not, it's not really that fun to do. Um, so, but for some reason, my left Joy-Con is hella greasy. Like, I don't understand what's happening. It's just super greasy. It's extra slimy. Um, those guys, I'm sorry, they were glowing green. I don't really know what the meaning of that was. But, oh wait, no, join my party. Join my party. Thank you. Oh, this is this might be the guy you need. It's not Inugami or the other guy. It's this guy. And again, I don't really know who you need them for. Get rid of Pixie. Right? Yeah, we'll get rid of Pixie. Um, I don't really know what you need him for, but I do remember that I needed one of those two guys to fuse something. Something. Alright, let's get a move on. Uh, I don't really want to open this chest. Oh, God. I hate when games do that and they switch the camera angle on you because like you're just running and look it just okay. it's so jarring if you don't know which way you're going and particularly it's like this isn't that bad because the camera is just like a zoom in zoom out but when you're going this way and then it switches you're like wait a second i'm confused uh it will do it because i can make more lock picks multiple lock picks on one go please be good uh that's not very good um okay oh god it happened again here we go um, just like one more battle. Really not that many more battles. Can we... The choice is yours and yours alone! Focus. I'm guessing these red shadows are the Makamis because the decision is yours. they don't seem to have any weaknesses that I can exploit. They might have, like, Zeo or something, but... Ooh, this guy! I hate this guy. Shiki Oji. Um, so we're actually going to switch to this man. Uh, I don't even know this guy's name, the Hyro fan or something. Uh, let's talk to him, enjoy my cause, thank you. Alright, Shiki Oji, I am going to ride this guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa don't press him. Uh, chari oh, what? They call chariots? Chariots of fire? Um, Alright, get rid of... Ooh, do I have... Do I need Hank? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. He's regenerate and barge to blast strength 21. Strength 16. And he has snap. That's gun damage. Okay, no, we want both. We want both. So I'm going to get rid of Wapo, because screw Wapo. Wapo, Wapo. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, Shiki Oji, I will probably ride this persona through like the next two or three dungeons, because he, he's, he nullifies all incoming physical and gun damage. And even though he's weak to uh, nuclear, through. you don't come across nuclear that often, so uh, it's actually pretty useful. Some more money items, and okay. I have something. let me actually, I'll show you Shigeoji real quick. Uh, Persona hmm. change, there we go. He's also just kind of cool, he's like huge and just like big and weird looking. It's, it's kind of, he looks like he's made of paper, I think he is made of paper because He's flat, like he's just completely, utterly flat. Show me your true um, form. 
so that's not what I want. I would have to just do this. Kill. Uh, kill. Kill. See, Kaja, like in game, when you, when enemies increase their, your, basically actually decrease your accuracy, increase their evasion. It just sucks, because a lot of times they're not even hard enemies. It's like in Pokemon, when a Pokemon decides, oh, I'm going to use, oh, wait, Rampage? That's, yeah, I love Rampage. That's good. Um, in Pokemon, when a Pokemon decides, or a trainer decides to use freaking Protect or Detect, and all it does is delay the inevitable. Like, you're not going to lose. It's just a matter of, hey, it's going right. to take me freaking a lot longer than it would have normally. I have to go and look through like all the treasure look, chests in this game chest. Why don't we and see which ones are my favorite because I kind of like these. Purple and gold is just a very regal color something. scheme. I mean, look at the gold safe Show what the gold was the Los Angeles Lakers, you know, like, it just works. It just works. Right. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be able to play this game without using, um, if I could do this without using Rush and like the better weapons, because honestly, these battles, I'm not going to cut out every single battle, that just takes way too long, and the battles don't take that long to, uh, to rush through if you have the right weapons, so this just makes sense, because honestly, why, you're not watching for the battles, I mean, you see the boss is cool, but you're not watching for the other crap, save room. Okay. Oh dang, do I want to stop it here? See it. I mean, I may as well stop it here because it's 26 minutes. Nobody wants to watch a 35 hour burn. And there'll probably be cutscenes when, when I'm done with the this securing the infiltration route. So we're going to call it quits here. Thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll finish off finding the infiltration route and uh, probably see what else. I always say this. So we're going to see what lies in store for the protagonist. I don't know what else to say, honestly. It's like, yeah, we'll find out more next time. That's what that's how that's how sequential parts work. You go through a story, you find out what happens next. Come on now. I'm sorry, Morgana's head's so big. It's so big. But <laughs> once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.